Well, this weather is certainly ideal for a day out at the fair. Just a week ago, there was talk about whether the fair would even open because of the rain. So much better out there tonight. 12 News reporter James Grant live at the YMBL South Texas State <laughs> Fair. Uh, what's going on out there, James? Yeah, Jordan and Dej, we're about halfway through the South Texas State Fair. The gates tonight opened just about an hour ago, and let me tell you, there's been throngs of people coming in since. Uh, I think a few people came just to get some food, and hey, there's nothing wrong with that, all right? YMBL President Harvey Zerniel says despite some wet weather late last week, the 2021 South Texas State Fair has gone off without a hitch. He says it was challenging planning the fair. The fair normally happening around spring break time in March. They had to push it back right now to the end of May. With vaccines available, COVID cases are a lot lower in the region, making people feel a bit safer attending events. Zerniel says special sponsored nights are really helping draw people in too. With the HEB Fair Share for Hunger Day Sunday and Provost Humphrey Night Monday, both days saw huge crowds. It allows the wine bill to go out in the uh, community and do what we do. That is our fundraiser, and that's what we live off the whole year. Uh, and we have projects throughout the year, and giving back to the community is important to us. So everybody coming out is helping us support the community. Zerniel says he's gotten positive feedback from both fairgoers and vendors, and he says the fair would not be possible without the hard work of about 300 to 400 volunteers with the YMBL. Zerniel said he's especially grateful to all those volunteers that helped out this year. Of course, as you know, the planning during a pandemic was not easy, but they came through a lot of them during their vacation time. So he's definitely grateful to that for that. Uh, I should say live here at Ford Park, uh, right by the South Texas State Fair. James Grant, 12 News.